Happiness. The key to it, let's face it, has preoccupied us for some time now as a human race. But now a successful software developer thinks he's got the answer. And it's an algorithm of the type more often associated with the worlds of engineering and mathematics. Mo Goldat has spent a decade devising how to engineer a path to happiness and joy. But when his son Ali unexpectedly died, he became his own case study. That tragedy tested his theory and spurred him on to try to improve the world by spreading his message on how to feel truly happy. But is using a mathematical equation to determine how to be happy even possible, given the uniqueness and the irrationality of us human beings? We are very sophisticated machines, but we are very predictable. So, so you know, my, my algorithm is very straightforward. I, I developed it because I could not really define what happiness was. So I took as many arbitrary points of data where I felt happy and tried to find what was common between them. What was common between them was the equation of happiness. And it is this. Happiness is equal to or greater than the difference between the way you see the events of your life and your expectation of, what life, uh, of how life should behave. In the modern world, we mix two states. One of them is happiness and the other is fun. Happiness is that peaceful contentment feeling of, I like the world as it is right now. Fun is the modern world's replacement of happiness. It's, you know, when I am unable to reach that state of happiness, what I do is I go out on the weekend and I go to a party and boom, 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 and my, my brain stops thinking. As long as it st stops thinking, I, feel, I think I feel happy. Um, you came with the, the cataclysmic situation of, using, of losing your own son in appalling circumstances. Is that what this is all about? The successful man had everything and then it goes. I think losing Ali was the call to action. I lost my son all of a sudden, like from, you know, from having a, a happy holiday together to losing him was four hours. And the question that hit me at the time was, what can I do now to bring him back? And nothing I could have ever done, including locking myself in a room and crying for the rest of my life, could bring him back. And to me, the whole idea was, I can either choose to suffer, or I can choose to sort of accept life as harsh as it has become and try to make it slightly better than it is today, make it slightly better tomorrow. So the way I did it was very interesting. I, I basically set myself a target. I said, you know, I learned so much about happiness from my son. We developed my model together. Wouldn't it be amazing if I can reach out to 10 million people and just give them that message? Can you imagine a world where 10 million people are happier? It wouldn't bring Ali back, but it would be slightly better than the day he left. And, and that's success for this project, right? And that is truly, truly, I would say, success for my life. Mm. There has never been a moment in my life where I felt I was having a better impact on the world than this. The, the, the fact is, we're just made differently, aren't we? I mean, we are, through DNA and our genealogy and our ancestry, we are either glass half full or we're glass half empty or we're, we're shades of both. That's, that's how it is, isn't it? The truth is, this glass is two-thirds full. The way you look at it doesn't matter. It is two-thirds full, right? And, and what happens for us in the modern world is we're, we're taught to be critical. We're taught to look at this part of it because maybe it makes us look smarter or maybe it's better for our survival. But the truth is the truth. If, if you have the ability to sit and watch Channel 4, you're much better off than being running around in the streets of Syria. You're, in, you're okay. As a matter of fact, most of the time, if you have the brain cycles to feel unhappy, that by definition means that there is nothing you should worry about now. Happiness is not about what the world gives you, how much water is in this glass. Happiness is about what you think about what the world gives you. If you think about it properly, you will always see there is something to be grateful and something to be happy about.